now the charge sheet begins fa bima naqzihim misaqahum so because of their breaking of their covenant wa kufrihim bi ayatillah fa bima will be added to everything now and because of their thanklessness towards the signs of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wa qatlihim al-anbiya qatlihim al-anbiya and because of their killing and slaying the prophets of allah they killed john the baptist yahya alayhi salatu was salam they killed zakaria alayhi salatu was salam they were hakin without any cause without any reason wa qalihim qulubuna ghulf and because of their saying that our hearts are fortified oh muhammad you cannot reach our hearts qulubuna ghulf our hearts are protected don't think your talk can have any effect on our hearts bal taba allah alaiha what they are calling as protected hearts actually allah has put a seal on these hearts be kufrihim due to their unbelieving fala yu'minuna illa qalila and yes they will not be able to have iman now except only a very few of them وَبِ كُفْرِهِمْ وَقَوْلِهِمْ عَلَى مَرْيَمَ بُهْتَانًا عَظِيمًا Another charge, very big charge. And due to their kufr and denial and their uttering against Maryam, a very big false charge. What is it? Illicit relations with Joseph. They say that Jesus was born due to illicit relation, illegal. They were not still married, but they had the intercourse, and the result was Jesus. It's a very big false charge. Bohtan and Azim, ba be kufr him wa kaul him ala Maryam bohtan and Azima. A calumny. وقال ہم ان ڈیو ٹو دیئر سینگ ان قتلنا المسیح عیسی ابن مریم وی کلڈ جیسس سن اف میری المسیح رسول اللہ ہاؤ کم دے ار سینگ دے ار کلیمنگ دے کلڈ اے میسنجر اف اللہ وما قتلوه وائل ایکچولی دے ڈیڈنٹ کل ہم وَمَا صَلَبُوهُ And they didn't crucify him. وَلَاكِنْ شُبِّهَ لَهُمْ But only a likeness of him was shown to them. The features of the person were changed to the features of Jesus. Now Quran doesn't give the detail how it happened and when it happened at what stage it happened. We don't find any details in the authentic ahadis also. But the gospel of Barnabas, although these people don't accept it as a canonical gospel, canonical gospels are only four. But there are hundred more gospels. They call them apocryphal, apocryphal gospels. And one of them is Barnabas. And they accept Barnabas was one of the Havariyin of Hazrat Isa. This is accepted. But they don't accept his gospel. And that gospel has told everything in detail. When you know Hazrat Isa, along with his companions, his Havariyin, he was hiding in a garden. One of the Havariyin, Judas Iscariot, he just left the place to inform the Jewish hierarchy, the biggest rabbi of Jerusalem, I can lead you to the arrest of Jesus. For 30 pieces of gold, 
he got the prize he brought the people along with him to the gate of the garden he said you stop here i'll enter then whomsoever i call o oh master sees him he, he will be jesus when he entered his shape his features were changed to that of jesus allah subhanahu wa taala can do it and four angels came through the roof of that small cell in that garden and they took lifted alive bodily as well as spiritually both things whole some jesus lifted them to the sky alive this is the detail now this person he went out and the other disciples who were sleeping they got, got awoke now because now the features were changed to that of jesus they said oh our master and at that very moment the police entered that garden and they caught him he is the person so according to the gospel of barnabas it was judas iscariot who was crucified not jesus son of mary but quran or hadith doesn't give us this detail but one thing is for sure he was not crucified he was not killed this is our belief this is our iman and that is the only difference between us and christians regarding the person of jesus we also believe he has been lifted alive to heaven they also believe the only difference is that they think that he was crucified he died on the cross then he was resurrected and then he was lifted and we say no he was not crucified he was not slain he was lifted alive directly to heaven then again we agree he will return to earth before the end of this world christians are also and we also believe both the second coming of jesus is a common factor between muslims and christians and you must emphasize it this is the common point i gave a lecture you know recently in lahore and now it has been translated into english and published to christians with love and you know there's very great need that here in this society you propagate this idea that much is in common between you and us regarding the person of jesus according to these jews he was a bastard god forbid according to us he was the messenger of allah according to us he was born without father as the christians believe we also believe they also believe in the biggest miracles of jesus we also believe in the miracles of jesus they also believe that he was lifted alive to the heaven we also believe he was lifted alive to heaven they also believe he will come again and we also believe he will come again and that time will be the domination of islam because christianity will will be finished all christians will embrace islam because jesus will come and say well i was not crucified you were under a wrong notion yaksur salib wa yaqtul khinzir when he comes second time he will break this cross and this cross is the symbol of christianity that jesus died on cross yaksur salib the prophet had said in a hadith he will come and break this this cross all the stories with this cross will go i was not crucified the basic dogma will be done with done away with and he will kill the khinzir yaqtul khinzir they have made it permissible to eat while it was haram in all the shariats and you know the jews don't take it so the deviation that they have done the deviation will be finished and you know christianity will become islam and that will be the domination of islam over the whole of the world wa qalahum inna qatalna almasiha isa ibn maryam rasul allah wa ma qataluhu wa ma salabuhu walakin shubbiha lahum wa inna alladhina ikhtalafu fihi la fi shakkin min and verily those who are differing about him was he killed or not was he slain or not was he resurrected or not and now ulama mat qadiani said well he escaped he ran away from there he came to kashmir and died here 
all these ikhtilafat you know innal ladina ikhtalafu fihi la fi shakkin min they are only conjecturing these are all their their fabrications of their own thinking and, and imagination ma lahum bihi min ilm illa ittiba'a dhann they don't have any knowledge of it they are only following conjectures and nothing else wama qataluhu yaqina for sure they didn't kill him they couldn't kill him nobody can kill or nobody has ever killed a messenger of allah anbiya have been killed prophets can be killed could be killed not the messengers that is why in this ayah these words you know they are actually with the sign of exclamation wa qalihim inna qatalna almasiha isa ibn maryam rasul allah they can't say it rasul allah because if they had accepted him to be rasul of allah they wouldn't have crucified him so this is actually from allah subhanahu wa ta'ala look to them they say they claim that they, they killed a messenger of allah while the messenger of allah can never be killed otherwise you know the prophet says muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam la waditu an uqtala fi sabil allah summa huya summa uqtala summa huya summa uqtala i very much love that i should be killed in the way of allah and then resurrected then again killed then resurrected i want to taste the taste of this shahada laying down life for the cause of allah but this desire of muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam could not be conceded allah not accepting the desire not fulfilling the desire of his beloved habib why this is the rule katab allah la aghliban an aw rusuli is the decision of allah he has written it down that i and my messengers will always be triumphant whole nations will be done away with but the messenger will be kept safe no hud saleh lut shoaib all saved and whole of their nations because they denied them rejected them they were finished rasul cannot be killed bal rafa'ahu allah ilayhi wa kana allah azizan hakima on the contrary allah lifted him to himself and verily Allah is all powerful all wise barakallahu li wa lakum fil qur'an al-azim wa nafa'ni wa iyyakum bil ayati wa dhikril hakim